Ink up the perfect poutine and the perfect nuggets. So these are impossible chicken McNuggets. They're from Impossible Food Company. You won't believe it's not chicken. That's how you say it. You're not gonna believe that it isn't chicken. Yeah. Okay, a little dash of the ketchup with your poutine goes a long way. Ranch dressing always does. Next. Got your ingredients, condiments, and extras to the side. Let's go. French fries on the plate. Seasonings to the French fries will be, and I quote, some seasonings. Get some seasonings into it, onto it, and around it. Then we're going to use this one. Join me on part two to be continued on that one. And uh, part two will be just a little dash of seasonings, but they go a long way with this dish, okay? Now you missed it, I seasoned the fries, you can see some seasoning on there. Next up you're going to grab the chez and plate the chez. And you're going to put the chez across everywhere. And then you're going to grab another palm of french fry right there. Palm de frites, down français mes amis. And top it with the chez. Okay? Once you get the chez on there, next up, you guessed it, mushroom gravy. And don't be stingy. Pour it on there. Get it over top. Make it all luscious. Next. I'm going to need a fork. I'm just kind of that little thing of gravy there. Mix that in. It goes away in a second once you see it melts in. Now you got your hot gravy there. Your poutine seasoned. Let me give it a taste. Let me know how good it is in the comment section down below if you're tasting it. Now you want to find a spot for some uh, vegan chicken McNuggets. If there's no room on the plate, that's okay. We like to serve up on the side. And with this, we're going to go this many chicken McNuggets. That leaves that many. Now I'm going to place some of the honey mustard just on to the side and over this portion of it. Hot sauce. Zero calories, all the fun. Get some hot sauce in you. And then just a little hair here. Just so she's like, oh, what, what was that? She'll know. It was her hubby. Crushing it for her, as usual. Do you crush it for your wife? Or do you slack, hey? Don't show your wives my cooking videos. Mute them, because say I've made this for myself, right? You know what I'm saying? Look at that, come on. Seconds to prepare that, seconds. I mean, it took 45 minutes to make that, but if you put stuff in front of you, seconds, all right? So 